Hello and welcome to Natural World Facts. I'm Leo and today I'll be talking about adaptation. First of all, what is an adaptation? Adaptations are the ways in which species change over time, in response to the changing demands of their environment. Through adaptation, organisms can develop certain physiological, behavioural and structural traits to gradually better their chances of survival. Adaptations usually develop in response to a change in the organism's habitat. One example of this happening is the English peppered moth. Before the 19th century, the most common variety of this moth was creamy coloured with dark spots. Only a few peppered moths displayed colouring of grey or black. As the Industrial Revolution drastically changed the environment, the appearance of these moths started to change. The darker coloured ones, which were much rarer, started to thrive in the urban atmosphere. This was because their sooty colour blended in with the trees stained by industrial pollution. The birds couldn't see the dark moths, so instead they ate the cream coloured ones, which stood out among the blackened trees. In this example, the moths are adapting their camouflage to blend in with their changing environment, to be protected from predators. In some cases, an organism can develop a set of adaptations that create an entirely new species. This process is known as speciation. An organism becoming isolated can lead to speciation. The huge variety of marsupials in Oceania is an example of how species can adapt to an isolated habitat. Marsupials, which are mammals that carry their young in pouches, arrived in Oceania before the land split with Asia. Placental mammals, which carry their young in the mother's womb, dominated every other continent except Oceania, meaning there was no competition for the marsupials. Organisms can sometimes adapt alongside or with other organisms. This is known as co-adaptation. For example, certain flowers have adapted their pollen to attract hummingbirds. The hummingbirds have adapted long thin beaks to help extract the pollen from those flowers. In this relationship, the hummingbird gets food and in return the plant's pollen is distributed. This co-adaptation is beneficial to both organisms and is also a type of symbiotic relationship called mutualism. For more information, watch my other video on symbiosis here. Mimicry is another example of co-adaptation. With mimicry, one organism adapts to resemble another. The harmless milk snake has adapted a colour pattern that almost directly resembles that of the deadly coral snake. This mimicry keeps predators away from the milk snake, as they confuse it for the venomous coral snake. The mimic octopus also has behavioural as well as structural adaptations. This species of octopus can mimic the look and behaviour of several sea creatures, including sea stars, crabs and jellyfish, in order to disguise itself from predators. Also, a shout out to 5 Minutes. His channel has some amazing content, including all manner of fact videos on a huge variety of different topics. I definitely recommend you check out his content and help support his channel, it's amazing. Thank you for watching Natural World Facts. See you next time.